It's summer, it's summertime, actually, and the subpoenas are flying, about 911 of them, in fact. And the music and movie industries are going after folks who illegally swap their product online, and they're getting help from Silicon Valley. Tech Live's David Stevenson went on a stakeout with the file swap cops in tonight's Hot Topic. For Mark Ishikawa, fighting file swapping is like fighting cockroaches. You gotta stomp out illegal copies before they multiply. One guy has it, then a hundred guys have it, then a thousand guys have it. We find between one and a half and two million bad guys are in a day. Ishikawa runs Bay TSP, a team of Silicon Valley cyber sleuths tracking down content pirates. You think of a you know, guy in the Caribbean with a parrot on his shoulder, patch over his I mean, it creates a, a romantic type view when it really is digital theft. Four years ago, the company primarily tracked child pornographers on the web. Now it mostly helps three major record labels and two movie studios fight file swapping. And they start putting a dollar amount to it, and they go, oh my God, we have to do something about it. it begins with the investigation screen. Bay TSP releases automated web crawlers that creep over peer-to-peer -peer networks, sniffing out copyrighted material. This was a very, very brief snapshot for just a few hours, and at this point we had 847 records. The software finds the internet program protocol address of the person sharing the file and automatically sends a copyright infringement letter to the ISP hosting that account. The majority of the people that we, uh, we catch, uh, I would call them in the innocent infringer category. In other words, first-time offenders. For hardcore traders with massive music libraries, Ishikawa has a warning. You can run, but you can't hide. Your IP address is unique in the internet in the world. We can trace you back. So there is no way to be anonymous. And although B Bay TSP makes a business out of tracking down swappers' IP addresses, they're very careful to keep their own unlisted. Ishikawa says one angry man who lost his internet access after being fingered by Bay TSP showed up at their office with a baseball bat. Chris? Boy, that's something, man. Okay, let's get back to those music industry subpoenas that we mentioned earlier. Now, if your name is actually one of those, what's next? Well, the RIAA says it'll start filing lawsuits against suspected file swappers next month. Meanwhile, a couple of colleges are fighting back. Boston College and MIT want to block subpoenas seeking the names of students suspected of file swapping. The school said the RIAA, RIAA subpoenas, that is, don't give them enough time to notify the kids as mandated by the Family Education Rights and Privacy Act. And I'll tell you what, man, I'm a little nervous myself. Not that I swap, but uh, just in case I do. Thanks a lot, David. All right.